Hello, I'm Tim Dunn, a historian and writer. And I'm Chris Denham, and I'm from Network Rail. Oh, there's always someone from Network Rail wherever I go. Yeah, because uh, Tim Dunn in his natural habitat likes to press buttons and pull levers and do things that, that, that could have terrible consequences. So there's always somebody like me, a little railway elf, to make sure he stays in his place. A railway elf, that's how I like to hear about it. You, But you're a chaperone for me <laughs> all over the place. But today, we're not at Network Rail, are we, Chris? No, we're at a different railway, but one that's really special and dear to both our hearts. Should we open the front door? I think we should open the front door. It's the final door of the year. Oh. <laughs> well, this is the bug. This is the bug. It's a little engine, a little 040 tender engine. A yeah, tender engine. engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was here on the Romney Hyde and Dimchurch Railway in Kent. Yeah, it's my favourite railway. I grew up around here, and the only reason that I work for the big railway now is because when I was a little boy, my dad took me down here, and it's played a part in my life ever since. And so many people up and down the country who work for Network Rail and the big railway also volunteer here, don't they? Yeah, well? yeah that's right, because on the big railway they don't let us play with lots of things, they make you do one thing. So my friend Roger, who does signals and telecoms, uh, at the weekends he drives steam engines just like this one. Um, because, you know, why not? If you love railways, you want to do it every day, right? Absolutely, that's why so many preserved railways exist. Now this railway is a main line in a miniature, is it? It's one third scale, basically. Yeah, so effectively, although there's a steam engine, it's not really a heritage railway. In the summer in particular, it's a main line. It takes people from the holiday camps or their homes or wherever to the beach for the day and then back at the end of the day. It's got full signals, it's got everything you could possibly want on a big railway. It's got stations, it's yeah. got engines. Yeah, yeah, and should we go and have a look at signal box? Oh, over here. Over this one. Now this is one of the most important places on the railway and one of my favourite as well. In fact, I've been asked to pull this lever over here, number three. Check this out. Now they've never pulled this one because it's white and it's a spare and it... Hang on a second, is that a sled? There's some really weird things happening at the railway today. Some of the stuff have got really big ears and everything's covered in lights. It's like something's going to happen. Something really very weird is happening. Oh, there you are. Then, hang on. Where's the engine gone? It's on a parcel service. Find out who's naughty or nice. Something weird. I'll get to the bottom of this. Look, come on, I've got some questions. Me? I'm eating. Sorry about that, Tim. Thank <laughs> you. Now, do tell everyone, why on earth do you love this railway? This railway is its own little world. It's wonderful because the engines are quite small, a bit like you and me. When they're going at 20 miles an hour, they feel like they're going at 60. It's <laughs> double track, it's got fully signalled, it feels like a main line, but it's safe and warm and it's a place where I can come and I know I'm going to have a great day out and enjoy myself. Oh, I, I can't agree with you more. I love this place too. I adore it. What's that noise? Yeah, yeah. Can you bring that to Tim, please? Yeah. Okay. Tim, it's for you. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. Thanks. Hang on, there's a hat. There's some tinsel. And. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's coal. Ah, yeah, so um, I heard you've been naughty, um, <laughs> but actually that's Welsh steam coal, and on this railway that's absolutely fantastic, so that's a good thing. And as you got it, why don't you go and fire a steam engine? Come on, chaps, we've got a job to do! Boom. Right, OK, look, <laughs> just one more thing before we have to go. Um, would you like to say, whatever you're doing over the next few days, whether you're at work, whether you're at rest, or whether you're at play, and whether you're travelling in 2022 by steam, diesel, electric, as long as it's by train. I'm off to London Puddington. I'm off to Three Kings Cross. Ho, ho, ho. I'm off to London Yulston. <laughs> well, we just like to say a very Merry Christmas from all of us across the whole railway, big and small. <laughs> right. Um, I think our presence is required, the big man wants us. Let's go. <laughs> Last call for the North Pole. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's right. All right. 
Jim, you're cold. You're cold. Away we go. Away we go. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. That's not a bad way to finish it, but it's lovely.